Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are starting up with uh, the puzzle series of Tech Learnings. Now what I'll be doing in this puzzle series, I'll be posting up the videos uh, related to the most commonly asked interview puzzles. I'll be explaining to you those puzzles, the problem statements, the approach, the solutions, so that you can understand them better. And uh, uh, I think I don't need to tell you that how critical or how important part uh, puzzle uh, plays in an interview, right? If you do uh, your puzzles well, if you perform well in them, then there are high chances of you getting selected in the interview as well, right? So today we are going to discuss regarding two puzzles. Uh, one is uh, the heaven or hell problem and uh, another one is the most famous, most famous 2x100 floors puzzle. Alright, so first we'll be starting up with the uh, comparatively easier one which is heaven or hell problem. And in the later part we'll be uh, discussing about the 2x100 floor problem as well. So let me explain you first the heaven or hell problem. So there are two doors in front of you. Uh, one of them leads to heaven and one of them leads to hell all right and there are two guards who are guarding those two doors one of the guard is a liar he speaks lie and uh, the other guard is an honest person he he tells you the truth every time you ask him anything all right so one is a liar one is a truthful guy there are two doors one of them leads to heaven one of them leads to hell now you are in front of those two doors and you want to go to heaven okay now the problem is you can ask only one question to any one of those two guards and you want to find out which is the door which leads to heaven so that you can go through that door and then you can enjoy in the heaven all right so we want to know what is the question that you would ask okay so again to save our time i have written down the solution as well let me explain you so the answer to this puzzle is suppose we have gate number one gate number two guard one is guarding the gate number one similarly guard two is guarding gate number two one is truthful guard two is a liar and gate number one or door number one is uh, uh, leading to heaven and door number two is leading to hell now suppose we ask guard number one okay suppose we ask guard number one now guard number one is a truthful guy now here is one before i explain further let me tell you there is one uh, assumption or caveat to this problem that both the guards know each other well that this is a liar and i am truthful guy okay they know about each other now coming back to uh, suppose we ask the guard number one what is the answer he is going to give now the question which we ask is if i ask the other guard which gate leads to heaven what would he answer assume we ask guard number one guard number one is a truthful so he says that guard number two is definitely going to say you gate number two means the door number two all right because guard number one is truthful and he knows guard number two is a liar so liar will definitely tell you if you ask him where is heaven he'll he'll tell you uh, the path to hell so what will he answer he'll answer that the door number two or gate number two is the answer okay now again if you ask the same question to the another guard who is a liar if i ask the other guard means if you ask guard number one all right uh, which gate leads to heaven now he knows guard number one is a truthful so he'll tell you the correct door all right but since he is a liar since he is a liar what would he say he will say gate number two door number two all right i hope i hope uh, you understood the concept you understood the point that both the guards are going to tell you are going to answer you the door which is leading to hell now you know the door which leads to hell so you choose the other door and then you go to the heaven 
all right so this is the answer to this puzzle that you just need to ask the uh, any one of those two guards that if i ask the other person other guard which door will lead me to heaven then what will he answer he'll tell you in response that door which is leading to hell fine so this is heaven or hell puzzle for you i hope you understood please do mention in comments if you do not understand this solution i'll uh, explain you again <laughs> okay so let's jump to the second puzzle which is two eggs and 100 floors puzzle so let's jump here so two eggs and 100 floor puzzles it's a very famous puzzle uh, there are 100 floors in a building and you have two eggs with you all right if you drop an egg let's say from floor x and if it breaks then you will if you drop the egg again from any floors above that x floor it will also break okay if it drops at 50 or let's say 20 and if it breaks it means it is also going to break from 51 52 till 100 or from 21 till 100 and if it does not break then it will then if it does not break then if it it will not drop from floors below it as well all right then now what is what uh, that you want to find out you want to find out the strategy okay that should be used so that the drops are minimum the total number of drops are optimized you can say or minimum in worst case considering the worst case you want to minimize the number of drops and you find out the floor from which if you drop the egg it is not going to break basically the you can say a kind of threshold that if you drop the egg from floor above it it will break if you drop the egg from floors below it it is not going to break all right so i hope the problem statement is clear to you that 2x 100 floors you want to find out the uh, minimum number of attempts or optimized optimal solution number of attempts uh, so that you can find out that uh, which is that floor from which you want to uh, you can say that that threshold floor you want to get to that threshold floor in minimum number of drops of the egg now let's see the solution part of it okay so first is what if you have only one egg this is just assumption and the problem is clear that if there are two eggs what if you have only one egg then you will start dropping it from the first floor if it breaks then uh, first is the answer all right uh, if it does not break then move to second floor if it does not break move to third floor similarly similarly the worst case would be uh, you have to make 100 attempts fine so in that case your uh, threshold floor would be the 99th floor all right now since like i said uh, here it is clearly said that we have two eggs so let's one approach is let's start with the 50th floor if you start with 50th floor and in worst case it breaks so now what will happen you have one egg with you only right so it's a kind of sequential problem again one egg problem you have uh, 1 to 49 floors and you have single leg again it's a kind of brute force approach that you will apply sequential approach that you will again start with from your floor number one then floor two floor three floor four up to your floor 49 so in 50 attempts you are going to get to the answer all right now let's let's uh, try to see a better solution what if you start with the 10th floor okay what if you start with 10th floor and jump by 10 floors okay if it does not break right suppose you started with the 10th floor and then it does not break so then you go to 20th floor then you go to 30th 40th 50th 60th so in first attempt you go to 10th floor then 20th then 30 40 50 60 70 so in the end what you will do suppose it still uh, uh, does not uh, break 
so 100 attempts uh, sorry the 10 attempts you have uh, reached till 100 so it means your answer the floor right floor is between 91 to your uh, 99 okay so again you'll have to make the nine more attempts from 91 to 99 91 92 93 till 99 nine more attempts in worst case right we are talking in worst case scenario when your 99th floor will be the answer so in 19 attempts we are going to get to the answer okay fine so from 50 attempts 19 attempts is a uh, i think is a better solution now what if we apply the same approach why why to start with 10th floor why not to start with 11th floor let's say so again if you start with 11th then again uh, jumping by your 11 floors all right then your 33 44 all right so then if you start with 12th floor then uh, 24 36 44 uh, like that so in each of these cases if you see you will get to the answer uh, in 19 attempts only but we want to reduce the number of attempts we still want to find out is there is a better solution than 19 okay now uh, now the solution is or a better way could be that suppose you start with let's say x floor okay then instead of jumping by another x all right and instead of jumping by another x jump by x minus 1 because that one uh, floor you have already covered so you have only x minus 1 floors with you in which the answer is going to lie okay suppose in x minus 1 also you do not get the uh, the x still does not break then you will jump by another x minus 2 because two floors you have already covered right then x minus 3 x minus 4 x minus 5 x minus 6 so this is the way that you are going to start let me explain you suppose you start with let's say 12th floor then x minus 1 x will be 12 in this case so x minus 1 would be 11 so then 12 plus 11 is 23 then you go to 23rd floor then you go to your uh, 23 plus 10 33 then 33 plus 9 your 42 this is the way you are going to jump the floors x start with the floor x then jump by x minus 1 jump by x minus 2 jump by x minus 3 so it leads us to a mathematical equation which is x plus if you see x minus 1 plus x minus 2 and till 1 greater than equals to 100 since we have a 100 floors building so it leads us to x greater than equal to uh, your 13.65 uh, since it's a quadratic equation so 13.65 it rounds to your 14 so 14 is the attempt 14 number of attempts you are going to make and you get the solution you get the solution all right so suppose you start with the floor number and 14 floor number you start with it if it breaks then you have 13 floors below you okay 13 floors below you so if you consider the brute force one same, same that single egg and 13th floor problem so in 13 attempts you can find out and one attempt you uh, wasted in that 14 floor so total 14 number of attempts you are going to get the solution okay now uh, if it if it does not break then what you will do you will jump by 13 floors to 27th floor all right then if it still does not break you'll jump by another 12 floors which means uh, 27 plus 12 what is that it's 39 39 then if it still does not break then similarly uh, keep reducing the value x x minus 1 x minus 2 this is this and you get the answer which is 14 so 14 is the number of attempts that you are going to uh, definitely get the answer you are definitely going to uh, get the threshold floor and threshold floor i hope 
you by this time you must be knowing that threshold floor is the floor below which the egg is not going to break and above which the egg is definitely going to break okay so 14 is the answer to this puzzle of 2x and 100 floors i hope uh, you understood both the puzzles you understood the approach to both the puzzles uh, if you if you still uh, did not understand please let me know since this is the first video of the puzzle series and I'm, I'm not sure whether I, I tried my best to explain you but if you still didn't get it please let me know through your comments and if you like this video please do hit a like button and if you want to see more and more stuff see definitely there is a more and more stuff which is going to come uh, so please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much thank you so much for giving your time see you next time bye bye